welcome back to a new vlog. I am so excited to spend the day with you. Before we get into it, I wanted to say a special thank you to Abercrombie for sponsoring this video. Morning guys, I hope you guys are having such a great day and such a great week. I just completed my morning routine and I'm starting to get into the work day here. I've already set up shop, I've already started working. I'm downstairs for right now and I have my two laptops out. Hi Gray, and then the living room is a little bit of a mess because Gray's been playing already this morning, but then I have some jazz on this morning too. It always gets me into like a super productive mode that's just on like YouTube and then I am wearing some comfies right now I'm obsessed with this sweatshirt you guys would have already seen it in my last vlog video but like I cannot get away from it it is one of the comfiest things it's from Abercrombie and I actually just got a ton of new things in from Abercrombie for the spring and the summertime. Actually, let's go ahead and do a quick haul. I'm gonna grab everything um, and we can do that really quickly. And then afterwards, I definitely need to leave to go to a doctor's appointment. It is just like a checkup appointment, but let me go ahead and grab stuff really quickly. I am so excited about this right now. Graves here too. And she's really excited. Can you go down? Good girl. So all of these pieces are from Abercrombie's YPB Active Line Collection. It is so good. This is not my first time ordering from this Active Line. I am obsessed. It does not disappoint. So let me share these things with you because there is currently a spring sale going on. So you can save some money on these pieces too. I'll have all of the information down below for you guys. Can't have you missing out on that. So first things first, let's just talk about this sweatshirt I'm wearing. I'm a bit in love with it that I have it in three colors, guys. So I have it in the Heather Gray color. This color is called Sand and then also in white. It is made out of a material that they call Neo knit which is a sweat wicking neoprene fabric it doesn't feel like your standard neoprene and it is so soft has a little bit of plushness to it a little bit of weight while still being really lightweight i love this style in particular this like polo style. This polo aspect just makes it seem like such an elevated style of a sweatshirt. Kind of feel a little bit more chic with it. This is just something that I can wear anywhere. It goes with everything. And yeah, it's just so comfy. The fit is just like my ideal fit. It has like a longer crop length and it does fit true to size. I go a size extra extra small in pretty much everything from their line. I'll tell you the things that I didn't get in a size extra extra small that I would recommend sizing up in. And then of course, because I love this sweatshirt so much I wanted to get it in like a different style they offer it in a couple of different styles I got it in like the mini crew neck version because you guys know my obsession with crew neck sweatshirts this one is a little bit more cropped than this polo option but the material is exactly the same it's still like so soft so comfy I love the width of the crew neck portion, if that makes any sense, but it just doesn't go too wide and it doesn't seem like too loose. But if you didn't wanna go for like the cropped options, they do also have like a longer oversized option. They also have like a hoodie option and then it comes in so many colors. Of course, 
these four colors that I pretty much have right here. But then they also have like a couple other colored options. They have like a really pretty green one that's like a green sage. It's beautiful. Yeah, I love these. And then I also picked up this ribbed racerback tank top. I'm a sucker for white tank tops. But what I love about this one is that it's made with a sweat wicking material. So it's gonna be perfect for the summertime. Yes, if you wanna wear it working out. I actually wore this this morning rowing. But I love that you could just wear this casually as well. This would have been like one of the perfect tank tops to take with me to Vietnam and Japan last year. Just because of like the material that it's made out of. It really would have gotten me through some of those really hot, humid days. This is a good one. I also love the hemline on this and how it has kind of like a scoop hemline. It's such a good one. It comes in black too. Okay, you guys, this dress, this dress. Oh my god. So this is kind of like an active mini dress. It has shorts built in underneath it. And the fabric that it's made out of is Abercrombie's Sculpt Luxe fabric. This fabric is really buttery soft, but it also has like a bit of weight to it. And it really has like that sculpting and compression aspect to it too. Because of like the compression that it has in it, this is one of the items that I had to size up in. So instead of getting an extra, extra small, I got an extra small. Otherwise, it would have been impossible to get like these built-in shorts on the built-in shorts are like a really soft like sleeky fabric they have pockets built into it too but it doesn't write up but the thing that i just love about this is the neckline you guys know that i prefer high necklines and this is like a slash neckline or you can also call it like a boat neckline but then the like the wow aspect of this is the back it has a low back and the straps do not slide off because of the high neckline it just really stays put it doesn't dig in under your underarms there's so much space in it it really just sucks things in and it holds my boobs where they are. I'm not wearing a bra with this and they're not going anywhere. I cannot wait to wear this in the springtime and like bring it with me on vacations. Like, you know, those vacations that you're just like walking around town, you're exploring, like this is the perfect dress to wear for it. It looks so chic yet it's also active wear. So you know it's gonna be great for sweat. I'm obsessed. And I also got this skirt. I thought that this would be a really cute skirt to wear pretty casually. I like how I paired it just like with the tank top. You can wear like your Adidas Sambas with it. It comes in like a sand khaki sort of color too, but it has the look of like a normal skirt. So it has like a faux cutout where a fly zipper would be. And then it's just a pull on skirt. So it's like stretchy in the back. It does have pockets. I got this in a size extra small because extra extra small was sold out and I was like nah I can make it work but it is a bit loose in the waist so I would still recommend sticking with your normal size in this so I definitely want to try to keep my eye out for getting this in a size extra extra small I think it is so cute and I just have so many ways that I want to wear this and here's a look of the shorts underneath they're the same ones as the dress has I think it's around like a three inch inseam I have never been so excited to talk about a pleated skirt before there are so so many skirts like this that I've tried out and there's always something with them that just doesn't work. Namely, it's like the back of them and how like they fit over your butt. It's never flattering and it just never works. And I think that this is like my dream pleated like tennis skirt. Everything about it is exactly what I've always wanted the skirt to like look like. First things first, sizing. I got this in a size extra small. This is one of those items that runs a little small. So I recommend sizing sizing up a size in this. Other than that, I mean, it's high-waisted. It is a thicker material up top, so it's like compressive, but then the rest of it is super lightweight and breathable and like breezy. It has these built-in shorts underneath them and these shorts do not write up. I also love that even with this white color, it is not sheer at all. It fits perfectly over my butt and it has the perfect inseam length, especially for petites. It is a three inch inseam. Like honestly, you guys, I cannot say enough good things about this. Kind of makes me want to take up tennis now. I got two pairs of nylon shorts and I love nylon shorts. They are one of the perfect shorts to wear in the summertime because the material is so lightweight. It's so breathable. It can really withstand those hotter climates and hotter temperatures, but they're also so multi-purpose. Like I wore these black ones this morning for rowing, but I also love wearing them as like a swimsuit cover-up if you're going to the beach or the pool. They're great for 
for athleisure and like running around doing errands or anything like that especially if you paired that black crew neck sweatshirt with this it would be so cute you can definitely do like that tone on tone which i'm a huge fan of so i got these like sand color shorts and then i paired it with like the matching polo i love the look of that i would say that these fit on the bigger side but i still love the size extra extra small in them it fits really well around the waist it's high rise the inseam length is not too short it's not too long either the last thing to mention about these is that they do have a brief liner built into them and i love when shorts have that especially if you want to wear them for like active wear as well and then the last item is a pair of shorts that i'm wearing right now so we'll just immediately go to the try on clip of them it's made out of the same material as these sweatshirts that i'm so in love with and oh they are the perfect summer short they're the perfect lounge short they are so comfy i haven't been able to take them off since i got them they sit up high rise and they have like a pretty wide waistband the only thing to note about them is that they can be pretty cheeky so I actually sized up in them at two sizes. I'm wearing a size small and that's just my attempt to try to get a little bit of length from them. So I personally could stick with the small, which I love that size and I'm keeping that size. I could also just do the extra small, but for sure there's no way I can go true to size and get the size extra small. So I would recommend at least sizing up one size in these ones. Okay, guys, that's everything. Oh, you guys have to check it out. Tell me what pieces you are getting. Don't forget about the spring sale either. Try to pick these pieces up during the sale to save yourself some money or really anything else on the websites check out their full your personal best active line they have so many other amazing styles and pieces different colorways and things that i just didn't show in this haul they even have this neo knit fabric in like a jogger sweatpant option too those i have been really eyeing but anyways i'll of course have everything that i chatted about down below in the description and i really quickly just want to thank abercrombie for sponsoring Sponsoring this portion of today's vlog but let's go ahead and get into the rest of the vlog so i've been back from my doctor's appointment and i've been working for the last two hours but i haven't had lunch yet and the state of this kitchen is in such a disarray like it's so dirty i mean i have dishes everywhere the island is full of things let's step back i'll give you a visual <laughs> so i think that before i actually make something for lunch, which is honestly kind of like a procrastination because I don't know what I want to have. I want to try to like tidy up this whole area first. What is life? So let's get to it. I never felt the kind of love like this before You took all the worries from my mind Darling, please forgive me if I stay a little more I can't look away from those brown eyes And if we settle down, we don't have to settle down don't be afraid of all the things that could go wrong And we can take our time And we may change our mind But I can tell a good thing When a good thing comes along Darling, tell me all about the dreams you had last night You can be so restless in your sleep Well, that feels so much better. The sun is even coming in right now. Mm. It is good. I just need to wait for the dishes to dry that I washed so that I can put them away. I definitely need to take out the trash now that I put like the flowers in the trash. But I'm um, still don't know exactly what I want to have for lunch. I think it's going to end up being like a snacking kind of lunch. Because as I've been trying to think of stuff, I've been snacking on these coconut bites. I got them from Costco. Oh my god. They are amazing. We have two containers of them because we love them so much. 
Like these are the sole reason that we wanted to order from Costco. We did it on Instacart and we're like, well, we can't just have them go get two of those. <laughs> so we threw like some other things in the cart. And then these seaside cheddar cheese already pre-cut from Whole Foods. Ooh, this is so good. But I'm thinking I can have like granola and like um, yogurt. Are you ready to come back in? Yes, baby. I had to let gray back inside. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, granola, yogurt. Kind of want it, kind of don't. Also have some like cottage cheese. That kind of sounds good. I also have just like chicken noodle soup. <laughs> this, so, so, so good. So we'll see what concoction I end, up, I end up coming up with for lunch right now. But I really need to get back to work too. I don't have any meetings for the rest of the day. Um, a couple of meetings that I did have they ended up getting rescheduled. So that was nice that it like freed up the rest of my day. But that means that I can finally tackle things that have been just sitting there on my to-do list. Oh, I guess the refrigerator's mad at me. What's happening, Gray? Are you okay? What? What do you need? What do you need, Bubba? But yeah, tackling things on my to-do list. Grace, Ansi, what's up, girl? What's up, girl? What's going on? Um, and people are pinging me. <sighs> you guys, work is exhausting me lately. It's like we went from having like such an insane Q4 to now having an insane Q1. On top of feeling like I had had, I don't think I do anymore, but like a seasonal depression. So this is just insanity. There's usually like peaks and valleys, right? When it comes to work for most jobs, I feel like like busy times and then like slower times and during the slower times you can catch up on stuff But I don't feel like I've had time to like really catch up on anything and it just is like piling on top of each other It's a bit hard to like stay mentally motivated also because I'm struggling to Understand if this is still something that I want to do just to be honest really really right behind me because i've been doing the same thing working on the same team for such a long time i mean it's over five years i think and so i don't know i'm trying to decide if like do i feel like i need a change is there something like i can change even like just within and on my team do i need to like reconfigure how i structure my day and like the tasks that i do like how can i find motivation and interest and what I'm doing. Does that make sense? Don't get me wrong. There's days and moments that I absolutely love it. Like last week was such a high for me and I haven't had it in quite a few months. And I was just like, yes, yes, in my groove, doing everything. And then there's just the days that I'm like, what the hell am I doing here? But anyways, just some thoughts, things I've been thinking about, about Amazon, about my job. I think it's totally normal to have those thoughts and recheck in with yourself to see how you can make things better. Whether that is staying on the team and working at Amazon or maybe that means not. But I refuse to let my job rule my life. Since the pandemic, I feel like it just really put life in perspective and to prioritize your happiness and your passions, but also like balance too. Because before the pandemic, I had an unhealthy balance when it came to work. I really let it get to me. I really let it impact my emotions. Like some days I would be really, really upset. And there was just something about entering the pandemic pandemic and everyone shifting to working from home and I don't know there's just like a whole new perspective on life and what I felt like my priorities were so I feel like it's important and totally natural to like re-examine things you know okay I just probably gave an update that nobody probably wants to hear and probably didn't make any freaking sense I have such a hard time putting like my thoughts <sighs> into words you get the gist you get the gist let's get back to work Depths of silence where echoes remain. You are the sunrise, and I was the rain. A collision of souls opposing and fly. I was the darkness, you yearn for the light.
laughter that kept me alive. You were hello, and I was goodbye. An ember that flickered, that faded away. You were the summer, I was that same old shit in me. No. just ran upstairs and I'm getting set up right now. So I have a therapy appointment right now. Well, in like four minutes. So I needed to come upstairs, get my computer set up. I always just have my sessions in a quiet space so that I can focus on, um, on the discussion and on the conversation. But I wanted to give like an update on how all of this is going for me. Starting therapy is a new journey that I started at the end of December. I had like one or two sessions at the end of December. So I, I have a lot of problems. <laughs> Juan will be the first to say, Carissa has a lot of problems. No, I'm just joking. There's a lot of reasons why though. I am seeking therapy. I really struggle with anxiety lately, stress management, balancing things, and just overall like trying to find my purpose. And so maybe we can chat a little bit more after my session. So I don't want to be late for it. But this is a journey and I feel like I have come a long way and I feel like I've made some great strides and steps from where I was mentally in the middle of December because it was not at a good spot at all. I updated you guys then on where I was at and I don't even know if like I put it into words the right way because yet again I struggle with like putting my thoughts into words in the right way. Needless to say, I was really struggling. I don't feel like I was in a good headspace. I just felt like every single day I was really tired. I didn't have like much motivation to do things that typically like brought me happiness or a will to just do my task list. And you guys know I like live and die by making my task list and following them. And I wouldn't say I was depressed per se, maybe it was like seasonal depression or something like that. But to me, it really felt like I was experiencing burnout. And of all of the things that I'm putting on my plate, I feel like I'm experiencing burnout. I mean, a few times a year and that is just not healthy at all. And so I think November and December was kind of like my rock bottom in a sense. And I was like, okay, like there's things that I need to do to change this. This is not sustainable. I am not happy. I need to learn some like new tips and tricks on how to like cope and how to like manage everything. So yeah, that's kind of like where we're at, but let me jump to my therapy session because I don't want to run late for it. And then um, we can chat afterwards. So I just 
concluded my therapy appointment and every time I'm done with my therapy appointments I take like 15 or 20 minutes it kind of just depends to just sit down and reflect on that appointment and write down my thoughts of everything so maybe like discussion points of what we talked about some tips or tricks that she gave me different scenarios and helpful ways to like work through things just so that I can recall these and um, and come back to it. I do try to take notes during the appointment too, but sometimes like if it's like, oh, I really don't want to forget this, but more times than not, I'm just really like focused on the appointment um, at hand. But I am really loving this you guys like i highly recommend therapy i think everybody needs therapy and i hope that this day and age like therapy is not viewed as such a negative thing as it was like even when i was a teenager to go to therapy it's like oh something has to be really wrong with you to go and it's like well no i just don't necessarily have to have anything wrong i just want to better myself and be the best version of myself and live a very happy fulfilled life fulfilling whatever purpose it is that i have and structuring my life around that purpose and my values just to really make sure that you are getting the best out of your life you know i really struggle with living presently I'm always focused on the next thing ahead, just given how much I put on my plate with working at Amazon, managing the content creator job, and all that comes with that, managing my Airbnb. Like I put a lot of things on my plate and I did that because the latter two like bring me so much happiness. So I guess it kind of goes back to that conversation I may fail to try to like get my point across about Amazon is like reflecting on Amazon and seeing if it brings me happiness anymore and if there's anything that I can change to make it bring me happiness or maybe I would be better off um in another job or at another company or just not doing it anymore and maybe pursuing content creation and just having like Airbnb and maybe getting more Airbnbs, you know, like whatever it is. But what I'm really loving about this is figuring out the tips and talking through how my brain kind of like works, my triggers, how I respond to certain things, especially when I'm triggered and like what that means, like really analyzing it, learning new ways to manage my anxiety like why do I have to be at a 10 all of the time like when I really should be here so things that I can be doing during the day or in the moment like when I'm feeling like that but I think like a really nice helpful thing that was said to me I think like a session or two ago but it's like at the end of each month sit down and have like a little debrief for how your month went. Sure, you can focus on things that you achieved or whatever, but like more so how the month felt, how you felt throughout the entire month and why you felt like that, like what contributed to that. And also like where most of your time went that month, were you happy with where it went? And just allowing yourself to think through that and see if that was how you wanted to spend your month and make use of your time. And then if not, like write down what more things you wanna integrate for the next month that could help you live presently and find that like balance that you want. So let's say if I work too much this last month and it's like, wow, I really would have loved to either see or call family friends or if I wanted to read or wow I spent a lot of time indoors like maybe I should go on like a little adventure maybe I should book a trip it's just like that constant checking in with yourself and yeah I thought that that was like a really nice thing to try to like help you live more presently because when you're in just like the mix of it the hustle bustle of it all time passes so quickly and you don't even realize it you're like wow where has the month gone where's the quarter gone where has the year gone on. And if you're not like reflecting on it and how the months made you feel, then you may end the year feeling like, sure, I accomplished a lot of things, but I don't feel fulfilled. So I like that. I like it a lot. So all in all, I feel like we're on the up and up. Things are so much better, but we're taking it day by day. Some days are more of a struggle than others, which is totally fine, totally normal. We just try not to put so much focus on those days. And when you are in those days, just focus focus on the little things that can get you through the day. So anyways, that's my little 
update. On and all, I need to let Gray out of her pen. One, it should have been home by now, but he's not home. So Gray was in her pen while I was up here doing my therapy. Again, to do it in quiet and in peace. And it's good for her to be in her pen and be away from me because both my therapist and my dog trainer said that we spoil her too much and it's because she's with me 24 seven. So having a little bit of separation, especially when I am at home. So like coming upstairs and she stays downstairs is like a really good thing. So anyways, we've been practicing that. <laughs> but Juan's not home and she's there. I've been there for an hour. So let's let her out and let's finally just like relax for the day. It's after 6.30 now. I'm probably gonna get a head start on some editing and probably like multitask with like watching a show or something like that. So totally chill nights. I am looking forward to it. Commence dinner time. Okay, so we ordered from a sushi place for dinner tonight. However, I didn't get sushi. Juan got some rolls though. They're called Three Times Lady. When they name these, is this like the universal name for it? Kind of like how California rolls is like the same California rolls everywhere. <laughs> Today. So I got vegetable fried rice and I love getting this because you can see how much they give you because it's like an entree size essentially. But I love doing this because this essentially will be my lunch tomorrow as well. That lasts like a couple of days. And then some steamed glazes as well. Woo! Oh wow. Babe, this is so much fried rice. Yep. Maybe because it's like the end of uh, the day. <laughs> We're like the last order. Then maybe they're like, wow, we have a lot of leftover fried rice. Let's just, is that like a thing or is this like me to order? It is a thing. The other day when I picked up like the huge order when I, when we went to search you. Okay. She said, do you want any sauces? And I'm like, what, what do you have? And she said, do do. And I was like, okay, boo boo. And then I said, um, can I have some extra wasabi? They gave me this bowl, like no, this. No, no. Full of wasabi. No, but do they make like wasabi fresh every day? I'm sure they just have it like in a jar. Probably it was the one that they were going to throw. Mm. That's my hypothesis. Yeah. Uh, I'm not mad about it. That's a lot of fried rice. And then did you want to watch an episode of Shogun, babe? Yeah. Yeah, so yesterday we just started a new TV show, Shogun. I liked it. First episode in. Solid. We also finished The Last Airbender, which we really liked. We finished Drive to Survive, Formula One since the last time we chatted about TV shows. So now we got Shogun and I'm just waiting, babe, for full swing. And I think it's like tomorrow or the next day. Like it's within the next couple of days. Uh -huh. The second season is coming out. I'm excited because I really want to know like how much, if any, they talk about live. They need to. They need to, right? And Unless they do like Drive to Survive. <laughs> and just ignore like yeah. hot topics. <laughs> yeah, Drive to Survive season five was such crap like they just totally missed talking about all of like the hot topics that happened throughout the season and i was like looking forward to watching season five because i was like following along to everything throughout the entire real season of formula one like all of like the grand prix and was like on instagram like following everything like really into it and i knew like all of the drama and everything and i was like yes i'm excited to see this unfold in season five nothing nothing absolutely nothing I was like, wow, made me lose faith in reality TV. <laughs> you know, they really just can spin any story to be anything that they want. Or hide it. Or hide it. Yeah, that was upsetting. Okay, let's do this. Woohoo! End of the night, get some food. Mm -hmm. 